Hey there, welcome back to the Making a Difference podcast. I'm your host, Julie, and today we have another episode of Family Talk. We will be talking all things baseball and how we think the season's going to go this year. So I'd like to introduce my Family Talk podcaster, my husband, Ted, my son, Josh, We have Heather here as well, who's going to be more of an observer, but we do want to recognize that she is here with us today. Uh, we are all together celebrating Easter, so happy Easter, and um, and so we will be doing this podcast as an Easter celebration of uh, baseball season starting. Um the blue bonnets are blooming and the air is getting warmer. That means baseball season is upon us. Opening day was Thursday, and here in Texas, it was a perfect day for opening day. We did not get to go. Again, Jaden had a game, but we did keep track of it, and we saw the amazing win. Um, so as we gear up for the season, we would like to talk about some of the up-and-coming players, what the future looks like for the season, and what teams have a shot and what teams don't. Um, so my first question is to you guys is with the addition of Wyatt Langford, who's 22, and in the Rangers lineup this year, and having Evan Carter, who's 21, is there an increase in young talent overall in the MLB, or do the Rangers just have, like, really talented young players right now? And I don't care who starts that. All right, I'll start it. Thank you. Um... Yes, there seems to be uh, more of an influx of younger talent in the MLB right now. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why some of the um, some of the free agents had a hard time finding jobs later on. Like Cody Bellinger didn't sign until you know a month before the season, he didn't get near the money he wanted. Same with you know Montgomery and and uh, Snell. So because I think it's it's a cheaper option for one. Um, and two, I think um, I think we just got a lot of good talent coming up. I mean, we have a good farm system. The Orioles have a good team and a good farm system. I mean, it's just it's crazy. Yeah, I guess that was my other question is that other people have this young. I mean, twenty one is like super young. So does anybody else have players on the team that are up and coming in that young? Uh, yes, a lot. Uh, especially us too of like we have a lot of pitchers in the minor leagues as well like Jack Leiter uh, came in relief for five innings and stuff and he did really good for I think five innings just about um, so we also have talent but there's also you know like Dad said Orioles have a lot of young talent um, the Rays usually do have talent too um uh, you know, uh, last year the Yankees had a uh, outfielder. I think his name was Jason Dominguez. Um, he was 20 years old when he came up, and then had a and then toured UCL. So he's done for the year probably. Um, and you know you still have uh, the Phillies who brought up Bryson Stott last year. He was in his 20s, and uh, you know the Rockies. You know they have a couple of kids there too. Um, just uh, no one. Just stop. Just the, the the Rockies. They have a couple of kids. They're not going to be good, but they have a couple of kids that are good. They're short that they just extended. He's in his younger twenties. Uh, the outfielder who won a Gold Glove last year was in his twenties. Um, so they there is some influx of young talent in the MLB for sure. Well, and then you have up and coming teams too, like the Reds, the Pirates. I mean, uh, the Orioles. I mean. Uh, not the Rockies, um, but uh, the you know the, the Royals. I mean, you got you got some the Tigers. There's some young talent out there coming up, and it's it's going to be it's going to be interesting in a couple of years. I think the thoughts are a uh, product of how much um, money people are putting into college uh, facilities, college coaching, and travel hall, high school, public high school, it's not private. No, no, no. Depends on the private school, I guess. Yeah, unless you're in Lubbock. <laughs> yeah, unless you... <laughs> um, 
But I think that that product can. There's so much more information, so much well, that stuff that the major leaguers and pretty much everybody can use it. Huh. That's an interesting perspective that I had not thought of, but very true. After when the OSU that has that like amazing facility right now, I think it was crazy beautiful in the pictures that I saw. So, and so I guess it's true. Okay, so okay, we're going to start with um predictions for division championships this year. So we're going to start with the AL East. And I'll start with Chad. Chad, Chad, go first, and I'll move this way. Okay, I'm I'm between two teams on this one. Oh, well, are we just giving the division winner? Or are we giving like our whole like division, like like who like from top to bottom AL East? Whatever you guys want to do. We usually do top to bottom or okay. bottom to top. Okay. okay, bottom to top is fine. We can do it that way. Yeah. So I think in the AL East, I have Boston finishing in last. Uh, I have Toronto finishing in fourth. Tampa in third. I hate to say it, but I think Baltimore will be second and the Yankees win the division this year. I really want Baltimore to win that division, but I just there's, I just got a feeling the Yankees are going to pull it out this year. Well, it's so hard because... That, that whole division is just, I mean, it, it could be exactly like I just said, or it could be 100% flip. Boston could win the division. Right? I mean, it's, it's, it's so silly how, how yep. crazy that one is. So, yep. so again, I, I got Boston in fifth as well. Um, I got Toronto in fourth. Um, I hesitated with that one just because I liked what they did, right? With time Justin Turner, right? And whatever else. Um, but, uh, they got a preview to me first. Um, and then third, I got the Yankees because I don't think their pitching is going to hold out. That's my only, my only thing about that. Um, second, I got the Rays only because I'm always betting on the Rays. Every time I bet against them, they make the game playoffs. So I am putting them two and I'm putting Baltimore one. I think these, I think they just have too, too much talent. Um, well, I have Boston finishing last as well. I thought, like, that I was saying, I have a hot take having Toronto finishing fourth, but I guess that's not the case. Everybody seems to be in agreement in that. Uh, I have the Yankees. Um, oh, are we saying we're not saying make the playoffs yet? We're just saying the standings, right? Standings. Um, I have the Yankees finishing third. I have Tampa finishing second. I have Baltimore finishing first. I, I I just I agree with the pitching. I don't think they have the pitching. The Rays always find a way, and Baltimore got a lot better with Corbin Burns. You literally just copied me. Here's the, here's the deal, though. I I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear anything. He could have just said ditto, and he's. But you gotta you gotta drag it out. That's the whole part of the podcast. Yeah, the, that's the, the drama. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both y'all shush. Um, so my division is the Red Sox. Um, we are all in agreement that the Red Sox would only be last, but in a sense, they could still be over 500 and be last. Um, I have the Rays in fourth. I think this is that they, they take a step back with the Wonder Franco situation. Um, I just think that this is the year that take a step back with also losing class now and. Jason Adams and stuff like that. So I think this is the year to take a step back. Um, then I have the Blue Jays. Um, I like what they did with Justin Turner as well. Um, but again, Vladdy has to, has to be 2021 Vladdy to put him to make playoffs. And then I have the Yankees in second, and then Orioles will win 100 games again. So I think they're, they're first. Okay, I don't have predictions, so I'm just letting you guys roll with it. So, <laughs> so you could just say ditto as well. Well, I didn't say ditto, except that um, I would say that I would like Baltimore to win it because I'm not a big Yankee person. But oh, I hate the Yankees. Eventually, they're going to make a comeback, though. The Yankees, like, they get, they're not going to stay down forever. Like, that's just not their style. They they haven't finished below five hundred 
in what 28 years. Yep. And it's still even last year, they didn't make the playoffs. They were still over 500. Do you know how many years the Rangers would kill? <laughs> you over 500. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. So, okay, so now we're going to move on to the AL Central. Okay, I think this is the worst division in baseball. I think they're going to be lucky. I, I think there's only one team that might finish above 500 in this division. Uh, so I'm going to start off with the cellar dwellers, the White Sox. I think they finished last. I think the Guardians come in fourth. I think Kansas City comes in third. I think Detroit comes in second. And I think all four of those teams have a record below 500. And I think Minnesota wins it by default because I don't think they're that good either. So, ditto. Because I got, I got the same thing. I saw Indians, Royals, Tigers, Twins. I, I like the Indians, the Indians. Oh, uh, they are. <laughs> they will always be the Indians in our eyes. And thank you, like, I read the answers. Yeah. yeah. Now, and I agree, this is the worst division in baseball, but in two years, it could be one of the best. It could be one of the best, without a doubt. Ditto. <laughs> is that better for you? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, as much TV and as much radio as we've listened to, I feel like we're used to building up the suspense, but I guess not. I guess we're just short to the point now. Um, I, I had Minnesota winning, although I disagree with Detroit. I think they are they are going to be over 500 this year. Um, I think Kansas City is going to be a little bit under. Cleveland's going to get fourth, and Chicago is definitely going to get last. Like, I think I think... The White Sox will be the worst team in baseball this year. Like, absolutely. They've just, I've got one. I've got one for you. I need that. Go ahead, Bill. Maybe other than one other team. I hope you're talking about Oakland because it's definitely not going to be my Rockies. Well, that's my worst team in baseball right there. Um, all y'all wrong. So, um, um, I will not say Ditto. I will say the White Sox. Um, I will say the Royals, and then I will say the Indians, and then I will say the Tigers, who fight for a first place spot. I don't think they're going to get it. I think they give Twins run for the money, um, and I think the Twins ultimately take it. They get their pension. I think 83 wins wins that division this year. Well, it did last year, didn't it? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it was last year, but I think 83 wins, you can win that division. Agreed. Okay. And you know they can they can fight for the division and still be on five hundred. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. And then uh, I'm going to agree on that one. Then I'm watching the A's. Focus. focus. I can see him. I'm not watching him. I right now. Sorry. Um. So we're going to move on to the AL West. Okay, I think Oakland is by far the worst team in baseball. I see them winning maybe 52 to 53 games this year. I think the Angels are going to be down there with Oakland. I think they still win more games, but I think they're still a horrible team. Uh, I actually have Seattle and Texas finishing in about the same record this year. I think Houston wins the division. Because they hadn't been knocked off yet, I, I just still think during the season they're a better in-season team in that division. I do not have them getting out of possibly the first round of the playoffs, though. So I'm going to have Houston win the division with Texas and Seattle tied for second in that division. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say they do again. Um, except for I, I, I wavered on the last place because I think – the Angels are going to be so incredibly bad this year. I agree with you. That they're going to fight the A's for last place. I, I completely agree with that. Like, like that may be a better a better fight than the division winning, right? I mean, I agree. They are both terrible. I think they're the two worst teams in baseball. And, and I hate it from one Washington. Yep. Right? He finally gets in their gig. Yep. And he, they give him a team that just is terrible. Horrible. And it's not going to get any better. It's not like they're getting people off the DL like we are. Right. Whatever else. Yep. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. And they're going to fire him without giving him a shot. Yep. It's just, 
I, I, I feel bad for him. But yeah, I've got A's, Angels. I think the Mariners and Rangers are close. Um, and and uh, all my thing uh, too, because I got the Mariners in third, and and the World Series champion the Texas Rangers in second. And then Houston, Houston won. But but I think it'll be close. I think I think uh, I think we keep it close. And if we get everybody back when we're supposed to, I think we make a really good shot at at winning that division. I I see this division ending like it did last year on the very last day of the season. I, I agree one hundred percent. It'll come down to game one sixty two. Yep. I have my Oakland A's finishing fifth and last place, but. I think they'll be better than the White Sox and the Rockies. <laughs> um, I have the Angels finishing fourth. Shout out to my boy Kyle Lynch. Um, he's a big Angels fan. Um, they're just they're ter- I don't th- I don't think it's yeah they're just they're just bad. I have Seattle finishing third. I have Houston finishing second. Rangers finishing first. First, so no faith in my in my Rangers. You get better defense. We got better definitely better hitting. Homer. Um. Hey, you know the stats speak for themselves. You know. Um, I think honestly, the starting pitching is pretty equal. No now. way. No way. Who starting pitching's not? Who the Astros got right now? Who do the Rangers have right now? We got Evaldi. We got Gray. We got Gray. Who got shelled today by the Cubs? Everybody has a bad start. So did Framber. Framber got shelled by the Yankees. The Yankees are a good team. Cubs aren't a good team. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Let's go. Let's get back to this before somebody gets punched. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, the and so yeah, offense and defense. Rangers are significantly better in. Uh, I think rotation are definitely close to each other. And then by the time August comes around, the Rangers rotation is going to be better. A better farm system if they want to call somebody up or trade somebody if they want at the dead uh, trade for somebody at the deadline. Bullpen is where I'll give Houston the advantage, but everywhere else, I think the Rangers have that edge. Yep, yep I agreed. Uh, I have the same thing as Rock. I have the A's and last with the worst record in baseball. Relax, bro. Um, I have the Angels in fourth. I have the Mariners in third. And then I have the Astros in second. Um, and then I have the, again, the 2023 World Series champions, no trash can thingy ball. World Series champions. Um, yeah, I I agree with everything Josh said. I think our lineup is deeper. I think our defense is way better. I think our rotation is better, especially when everybody comes back. Um, that second half run, I think Houston takes it in the first half. Um, but I think second half we're gonna go on a run and get hot at the right time again, and ultimately it's gonna be a 2024 division title for us. I will say this. If they can get Negron back to Scherzer early enough, they win that division. But they gotta get they gotta get those guys back and healthy. I I, I agree. I, I agree. I the only thing uh, I, I don't know if the Astros bullpen is better than ours. They had a lead against the uh, against the Yankees in all three of those games after the sixth inning, and they lost all three of them. So now Hader, I think, is a great addition, but I'm not sure the rest of their bullpen is better. I think they're. More top heavy in the pen than we are. How about that? I think we have more depth because we're also gonna have so many like mid like like because we're gonna have by the time August comes around we're gonna have like eighteen starting pitchers I think, and so some of those are gonna go to the pen. So I think it's gonna kind of deepen it out. And so I think we'll have a deeper pen. But I think with Hader and Presley and a brand new for uh, for Houston, that's that's tough. Tough to be. Presley looked terrible. Yeah. Terrible this weekend. Now I know it's opening weekend, but he looked bad. And I tell you what, I've never been a big fan of his to begin with. Now Hater, Hater legit, right? I get you that, but I don't know. I don't think I don't think Presley makes our rotation. It makes our bullpen. Wow. Are you sure he's pitching right now, though? That's your boy. That is my boy. That is my boy. Okay, I get to have an opinion on this one, and of course, I'm picking the Texas Rangers pick on first in this division because I think they're just gonna want to fight it. Oh, I think they're gonna finish things. I have Oakland finishing second. I'm sorry. One, that's the two, and the best that's For anybody who's referencing, we each have a secondary team. 
or a sometimes a 13. My 13 happens to be the Rockies and Josh's 13 is the eight. I guess. Sure. I just, I just don't want them to move. I don't. Yeah, I don't want them to move either. <laughs> but that's for reference. We're all Ranger fans. Well, some of us. I'm a Ranger fan. I just grew up with being an Astros fan. <laughs> I just don't like the owner of the A's. That's why I go for the A's. I go for the, I go for the fans. I go for the players. I don't go for the owner. But they are moving, aren't they? They are. Like, uh, so? Now they're moving to Vegas. Nothing's technically official yet. Uh, they saw some stuff they, uh, in uh, the legislation in uh, Nevada to pass and everything. And, uh, like, like, I know I thought things were some of the teachers of Nevada um are really mad that they're putting all this money towards a stadium because they've been asking for races in nevada for teachers for a long time and uh a lot of people actually like the governor uh, it was the governor or mayor uh said um um that they think the a should stay in oakland and and so this, i think they're perfect for an extension to it i think oakland should stay in oakland and actually, this is where a point where MLB should actually step in and force an owner to sell. I'm not usually a big for that, but when their opening day roster in 2004 was higher than it is now, that's a problem. That's 20 years ago. And 2004 is the first year that this current owner took. Oh, well, and, and the problem with that, too, is that that owner is getting money from Major League Baseball because they're a small market team. And he's just pocketing it. So he's he not giving it back to the fans about either putting it into the stadium. I mean, they still play in a football stadium. Right? I mean, that's where the that's where the 49ers and, and Raiders used to play. Right. So so um it, and it's 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 still the same stadium where they have the earthquake back in eighty nine when the Giants and A's won the World Series. I mean, it's it's a crappy stadium and has been for a long, long time. And uh, I agree with Josh. They should stay in Oakland and give them give the the Vegas an expansion team. I'm on the other side. I think he should sell the team and they should move to Nashville. Expansion team, Chad, in Nashville. Off? It, expansion in Nashville. I don't think Major League Baseball needs expansion. I just I think they're going to if they keep expanding, you're going to start watering this down more and more. Last, last I heard, they're talking about four expansion teams over the next 10 years. That's just, that's like the Dallas Tigers. You just started to start expanding out, and now you're nowhere near what you once were. Well, well, it, it, except for the fact, though, that the population increase in the country agree with that. is growing up as well. Yeah. So, you know, when you say it's watering down, yes, I agree, it may be watering down, but there's more people playing baseball now than there ever has been. Um, we're actually have more people playing baseball than football as, and as far as, uh, you know, the youth in America. So, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm with you. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't know, 75 to you. Yeah. I don't care look for more. I, I love going to new parks and I love seeing what they can do. And, you know, I don't know. That's, uh, we might have grandkids playing in there, in there if we expand that a little bit too. So it'll be all good. I've mapped it out where you can get, I think 40 teams. Deep dynasty. It's actually very impressive. Map that out entirely one day. You map that out that we can have forty teams. Is that what you said? Yep. He he was blowing up my phone one day about what do you think about this? What do you think about this? And I'm looking up populations and you know whatever else. I'm like, like, dude, I, you know, I, it, Midland can't afford to cheese. But Zula, Montana, Grizzlies. <laughs> So well, I will say, I will say that your forty team thing and the division is is pretty impressive. It's, it's pretty. I, I think the problem you're going to run into with that is the same problem you're running into with the NFL as far as trying to put a team in San Antonio. San Antonio could support a team, but who will not allow that team? Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is not going to allow a team. And I think you have these other owners who look at it. If you put one close to them, they don't want to draw their fan base to another team. So you're going to have to put this Midwest almost to where there's really no teams. I don't think you put another team in California. I don't think you can put, I mean, 
we know population-wise you could put a baseball team in San Antonio, but how is that going to affect the Astros and the Rangers owners? Not anything else other than the owners who are going, hold on, I have a big draw out of San Antonio for my team already. Now you're going to take that away and it's going to disperse back to San Antonio. I think that's the big issue that goes against all of this. That's why I think Nashville is a perfect spot for a team because in Nashville, you're not really affecting anybody else. There's nobody really close other than Atlanta. It's going to be the closest thing to them. So anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I, I so I, I, I never said it'd be, it'd be great to see the demographic of the fans in San Antonio on whether or not they're Ranger fans or, or Astros fans. Right. Because uh, I'd be willing to bet the more Astro fans there are Ranger fans. Oh, I agree with because it's closer in proximity. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's a closer proximity. And they're a Southern team and they're going to kind of stay down there. I I agree 100% with that. Yeah. I, I, I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to see the breakdown though. It'd be interesting. You know, it's like putting one in Oklahoma City. I think the they're going to fight over that are going to be the Rangers and the Royals. So they're going to throw a huge fight over that. Because you know in Oklahoma, you either are a Ranger fan or you're a Royals or even a Cardinals fan yeah. for that fact. I, I don't think Oklahoma City can support a major league team, though. I don't think that. The population's not big enough. Yeah, like that. yeah that's, that's one of the things that we looked up because, you know, in the entire state of Oklahoma, there's only 2.4 million. Yeah, there's more people in DFW than the entire there's state. There's more people in Dallas proper yeah. than there is in the entire, entire state, state of yeah. Oklahoma. Right. So, you know, asking a, a city of yeah. barely a million people to support. Now, they do support the Thunder. Yeah. Right? So, but... They, the Thunder really hasn't had a whole lot of down years, you know. Like it took right. us fifty-two years to win a dang pro series, right? I mean, so it took a while to build up that fan base. So it'd be, just, it'd be interesting. But it's pro- and it's also easier to fill a uh, sixteen thousand seat stadium than it is a, a forty thousand stadium. So. A- and half the game. Right. 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 Exactly. Actually, a quarter of the game. Right. Well, no, half the game. You play eighty one. Yeah, they play eighty games. Half, yeah. Half the game. yeah. yeah. Sorry, Jimmy, we kind of hide. Yeah, we got off the tail chart there. So that, that's what this is for. I felt like you were going to say something, though, Josh. You have some input. Oh, I, I, it was just like, uh, 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 it was mainly, I think I had like Portland and I had Vegas. I had, uh, uh, Salt Lake City, Charlotte. Yeah, yeah Salt Lake City. I was thinking, I'm not like, yeah, I had some like, in, uh, Charlotte, and then I, I even went up to can- Canada a couple times, yeah. um, and stuff like that. So it was, it kind of, I spread it out as much as I could possibly can. Mm-hmm. That, that may be a future podcast for you because it was, it was very interesting, actually. Yeah, I actually, I would love to hear more about that. It's like, definitely a flame when I burn my own hair. It's like this hat candle. I'm not moving. All right, so. Sorry. So right now we're going to move on to the NL East, right? Is that where we're at? Okay. So NL East. Dan? So NL East, I think there's only two teams in this division. And I don't want to hurt Jaden's feelings on this, but I think Washington comes in last place. I think the Mets are still terrible. I I think Miami, I think they're going to have a winning record this year. But I I don't think there's any chance they compete with Philadelphia and Atlanta. Uh, I still have Atlanta winning this division until Philadelphia can knock them off. Uh, but I still think Philly keeps within about four games uh, to win that division. But I've got Atlanta winning it. Yeah, my, mine's close to that, too. Um, I think the Nationals are last. Um, I got the Marlins fourth. Sorry there, buddy. Um, I got the Mets third. Um, I'm just, I will never, never be on the Mets bandwagon. Just never. They could, they could sign every free agent out there and I'm still not going to take them. Right. I know. Um, Phillies two, Braves one. Um, and I'm a Chad. I think this is close to the road. Come on. Um, uh, I, sorry, James. This is going to get worse and worse for you. Chad, I'm third. That I'm for that I haven't last in the division. Sorry. 
I I don't see anything that's gonna go well for them this year. I really don't. I tried to, but like I just don't. And I actually think Washington's gonna be significantly better than everybody thinks. So it was kind of a combination of that. So if Washington finishing fourth, the Mets are gonna be like seventy eight to eighty wins or something like that. Five hundred because they're just mid. Um Philly finishing second, Atlanta finishing first. Uh, so all oh, y'all suck. So, so you Jeff. Uh, no, it's uh, it's gonna be a rough year for my Marlins for sure. Uh, no Sandy this year. Uh, losing Allen for so the agency that that was a huge loss. Um, hopefully a full year from Jazz helps a little bit. Um, on with the divisions. Um, out of the Nationals last. Um. My biggest take is that this will probably be the last year for a while that they'll be last. Um, I think they're slowly going on the rise, especially if they bring up everybody they got in that one sort of trade. Um, I have my Marlins in fourth. Losing Sandy is a huge innings eater, and I just don't think no one's going to feel the shoe that Sandy can. And then you have to pull all that on Jesus Lazardo, who's never done it before. And so... We'll see what happens with that. I have the Nets in third, but probably being better than last year, but not by much. Um, I had the Phillies in second. I had the Braves winning the division. Awesome. I'm sorry about your Marlins. They'll get better. Okay, <laughs> okay now we're going to move on to the announce control. Okay, so this division here, I think this is going to be the tightest division in baseball. I think you literally have all five of these teams that could win this division. So I've, I've got to put them in the order I see. I got Milwaukee in last. I got Pittsburgh in fourth. I actually have the Cubs in third. I've got the Cardinals in the second, and I've got the Reds actually winning this division this year. But I think this is going to be the tightest. I don't think any of them are phenomenal teams, but I think for their division, I, I think one through five could pull this division out this year. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you 100% on that one. Um, I got the teams in a different spot, but they, they could all finish within like two games of each other, right? So, I mean, it uh, and again in in two years, I think this could be one of the best divisions in baseball yep. with all the young talent coming up and whatever else. Um, but I got the Pirates in fifth, I got the Brewers in fourth, I got the Reds uh, in third, I got the Cubs second. The only reason why I put the Cubs second is because of the manager. I think he he gives them a few wins to get them over the hump. Um, then I got the Cardinals in first. Um, but after this weekend, maybe not. <laughs> Um, I, I gotta go back to my notes. Um, I have Pittsburgh in last. I think they're still just maybe a year or two away from really, really doing anything. I think the Reds are going to slide back. I think with McLean getting hurt, uh, one of their pitchers is hurt too. Um, I can't remember who, Jane, don't make me, are you making me look this up? I'll, look, I'll find it that when you're talking. Um, but I just think they're kind of just going to have a, a collective sophomore slump as a team this year. Uh, so I think they're going to slide back. I think Milwaukee, they still have a good group of those guys that were there before, even though they don't have two of their uh, three starting pitchers. I still think they're going to have, they have just a good group that's going to get them at least close to the playoffs. Um, I have St. Louis finishing second. And I actually wrote them down at first. And then I was like, I don't like their manager. I just don't think the manager is a good manager. That's why I want the Cubs one, uh, because I think they have a better uh, manager. And, and I agree with that. I, I do not like the, the Cardinals manager. And the fact they gave him an extension, I think it was a mistake. Not that they can't fire him anyway at the end of the season, but if they don't make the playoffs this season, they'll fire him. So yeah, I got the Cubbies finishing first. Uh, yeah. I uh, I have the Pirates in fifth. Um, I'm with Josh. They have a young core um, already, in a sense. Um, and then he pitching bad. Mitch Keller didn't do well opening day. Um, 
least hit or miss uh, some days. So I think I think they just need a lot more young pitching. Uh, I have the oh Nick Lodolo. Oh okay, that okay that makes sense. Um, I have the Brewers in fourth. You know, losing on Woodruff, losing on Burn. Um, you know, they did sign Reese Hoskins. Uh, they are bringing up that Jackson Trio kid. Um, I don't know. There, there's something about that team that screams having it down here. Um, and gosh, dang it, that's the opposite of the Reds for me. Uh, I agree with Josh that a sophomore slump could happen. Um, and I think losing out on Joey Votto hurts more than people think. Um, but, yeah, I have the Reds in third. Um, just all the young talent in the world, I mean, uh, at your disposal. Um, I have the Cardinals in second because of their manager as well. And then I think the Cubs finish first. Awesome. Did they score? Yep, they did. Okay. Our Rangers just went down. Um, that was that was Central, right? Now we're in the West. Yeah, in the West. Okay, so I I feel like the Dodgers are the fifth team in this division. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off. Uh, the Rockies are terrible. Uh, absolutely just, they're like Oakland. They, they're, they're in a tough division and they are a bad team. So I got them fifth. I think two, three, and four, in my opinion, there's going to be about one or two games that separates these three teams, but I'm going to go the Giants in fourth because they're from California and I really don't like anything from California. Then I'm going to go San Diego in third because they're also from California. And then I'm going to go, I, I really wish I could put, you know what? I am. I'm going to put LA at number two because they're from California and I'm going to give it to Arizona to win the division. Oh, just because those three teams are from California and I hope they all fall off into earth. So that's my prediction. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know how I call them. Um, yeah. um, um so I got the Rockies in the uh, I'm with you. I think two, three, four are going to be tight, but I think it's Giants, Padres, Diamondbacks, two. Um, and even though they are from California, um, I'll pick the, uh, the billion and a half dollars as soon as the fall season. Yeah. Uh, makes their 100 win team even, even stronger. Yeah. So uh, I got the Dodgers in first. I mean, I think everybody. Except apparently Chad has the Dodgers in first place. Oh, I think the Dodgers win it. I'm just going to pick Arizona because I don't want them to win it. So, um, I have Colorado finishing in a very distant last third game. Um, uh, Mommy's telling you to mute your uh, phone. I think. Oh, um, uh, San Francisco in fourth. Uh, San Diego, um, in third because I actually kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging the San Diego look this year. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Arizona in second, and then um, uh, the Los Angeles Gamblers in uh, in first place. I bet somebody was gonna say that. In fact, I was going to bet uh that they're gonna have like a hundred and eight wins. And I'll call Shelly the time and make sure he puts the bed down for me. Dad, no, 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 no. Do you have to call his interpreter? I don't know. He can play in for me. Or he can give me the money. Yeah. I just give me his bank account number and I'll just take it out myself. That's insane. Um, I have my Rockies and Pitt. Um, sadly, you know, we, they suck. So that's understandable. Um, I have the Giants and Orth. Um, you know, them getting so there, them getting Snell, them getting Chapman, new manager as well. Um, I think they take a step forward. Um, I think they're close to the Padres who are in third for me. Uh, but I think there can be a gap between the Padres and the Diamondbacks. Um, I think the Diamondbacks hitting staff is just so much. Mm -hmm. Could rival any hitting staff in the majors. I mean, 
you have snow, you have, I mean, not snow, uh, you have gallon, you have, who, Mitch Kelly, uh, you have, you know, they just got Montgomery, sadly, they got, uh, Carl Rodriguez, and then that Brandon Hawk, who was a rookie last year, um, which could argue be the best rotation in baseball, um, with a lineup including Jock Peterson and Suarez and, you know, to still have Corbin Carroll. Um, so I think, I think they rattled the Dodgers this year, um, who are in first for me. Um, let's hope they go farther in the first round as well. And they don't have Tommy Pham, so that just makes Arizona better. <laughs> okay, awesome. So that's all of your predictions for the division championships. So next we have, uh, and you can give like one or two teams for like the American League and one or two teams for the National League, and these are your sleepers. And that's a team that kind of goes under the radar and is going to be better than you like than the majority of people think. Uh, Cincinnati is kind of my sleeper team, I, and I really don't think they're a sleeper. Because I don't, I think there's a lot of people pretty good to have a good season. It doesn't sound like a sleeper to me. Do what? It doesn't sound like a sleeper. Well, here's the thing: if you really look through here, I don't think there's any sleeper sleepers in this. I I don't think there's any bad teams that are going to do better than we think. Uh, I I think the the problem is is I think Arizona could be a sleeper in that division. With the signing of Montgomery, I think that gives them an extra five to eight wins this season do i think it's enough to topple the dodgers i don't know but it's just like what happened in the playoffs last year you had two teams that just went on a really good run and they both made the world series i mean if you look at the world series last year before that the playoff started how many people predicted arizona and texas in the world series very few i mean i don't know of anybody that predicted that so i think it's all about going on a good run uh you know, I, I throw St. Louis in that after last year. I think St. Louis could have a better season this year compared to what they were last year. So those are my two, Cincinnati and St. Louis. Um, so, yeah, my, my sleepers are in Cincinnati as well. Um, and uh, and then the other ones are the Tigers. I think if, if everything comes through with the Tigers, with the uh, if they bench by theirs, and just don't let him screw up that team. I think yeah. they can actually do something. They need to do that. Agree. That that, that could be the worst contract in Major League history. Yo, that is a cancer. Correct. Uh, my sleeper is also Detroit. Again, I thought I was going well, under the radar there, but I guess not. Maybe it's not a sleeper. I guess. Um, and then I have Washington as my sleeper in the uh, in the National League. I, I I I'm thinking at the trade deadline, they're 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 in a playoffs. Uh, position not like in a spot, but like potentially could be fighting for one. Uh, my AL sleeper is the Tigers as well. Um, just, just say ditto. Yeah. Nah, I like the Dragon. Uh, and then my National League one is the Reds. Uh, just because I was thinking about the Diamondbacks in a sense, but. I think again they can rival winning the division in theory with the pitching staff they have. Um, and then I was going to pick the Mets. Uh, but they don't do. So what is the biggest disappointment in sport? Well, not even just in baseball, but in sport. How can you have that big of a payroll and suck? Yeah, the biggest disappointment in sports is the Cowboys. <laughs> I had a true story. <laughs> I had no an agreement. Okay. So, the next one would be a prediction of a team who will underperform. That everyone expects them to do really well, but they might not do it. The Los Angeles Dodgers. I think there's so much hype built up on those guys that they're going to have, in my opinion, they're going to have to win 
108 or 110 games to hit that expectation that everybody has for them. They, they spent a lot of money, man. I mean, a lot of money. I get have to win it this year. My, uh, I got two disappointments. One is the Nets because they suck. Um, and I didn't really they're the Mets. They're New York. So New York always has some up, right? Because, you know, it's a New York team, right? Here we go. And our owner is, you know, you can't, you can't argue with the owner because he's spending the money. He's trying to win. But they just, they could not put everything together. They just can't. Okay. And I, will, I just won't bet on them until they actually win something. And they're not going to go. Yeah. That's, that's um, and my other disappointment, and I hate to say it, could be us. Bruh. Who's this man? But, but here, here's the deal. We, we, we could miss the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I mean... And that's not because we suck. It's just because the it's it's tight, and uh, we you know if, if we if we don't get Deron back, we don't get Scherzer back, and you know Holding goes down again, whatever else, we're gonna be we're gonna be in trouble. So, <laughs> we gotta start having video when we do this. I'll I'll, I'll I'll take that for next time. So they can just watch me spin around a chair for the entire time. Uh, uh, I see where it could go wrong. I almost picked us as a sleeper because if you look at all this, the projections and everybody's opinions, nobody has us doing anything. But I'll get to that later. Uh, my biggest disappointment is Toronto because they're supposed to be good every year. And it's most, and they do almost everything right, except win in the playoffs. Uh, then they make playoff last year. They know that they they never have the playoff last year, so they're giving me another disappointment. Um, and then I have the Cincinnati Reds being a big disappointment because everybody is on the red back bandwagon right now. Everybody it seems like so. I think they're going to be disappointing to a lot of people. I uh, yeah, I have two disappointments as well. Uh starting with the League One. Uh, I have the Dodgers. Um I agree with Chad in the sense that everyone expects them, you know, spent what, a billion dollars between two players. Um with a B a billion dollars. And now you drag that out for twenty years because you gave a dude two million dollars for ten years. Um and it came in pitch this year. So, um, I think in the sense that there's so much expectation on the Dodgers that everyone's going to want them to win 135 games, and it's not going to happen. It's not. Especially the division that they're in. You know, this even schedule that they have this year, I get it, but, you know, you still got to play your division, guys. You still got to play the Giants, who have Snell, who is a Dodger killer. You still got to play the Diamondbacks, who, again, arguably had the best rotation in baseball. Um, and then the Padres, I mean, you, you play the Padres in Petco Park, man, it's, it, it's, it's, it, it rivals, it gets loud in there, like, since the big park, like the Phillies, man, it gets loud in there when the Dodgers come to town. Um, so, in a, in a sense, a disappointment because they're not going to win 140 games. Um, and then my American League one just may surprise y'all. I have to ask you if I make disappointment. Yes, sir. I have to ask you because A, I hate them. Yes, sir. Um, B, because they spent all that money on a hater. Why do you got to be a hater? I, that, uh, but they spent all that money on a hater. And I'm a little salty because we should have had him. Um, but, you know, they extend, they extend it out to they, they Everyone expects them to be in the ALCS again because they've been, what, seven straight time. Um, it's hard to write a bit against them, right? Agreed. Um, but I think, again, I think the Mariners will survive them, and I think, again, we're going to win the division. So I think that was, that was my disappointment. That was terrible. Uh, I get... Not what he just said. That yeah. catch. Oh. I look like a kid in high school trying to run back and catch a baseball. Oh, we've now put to the San Francisco-San Diego game. The 
Rangers lose? Yes, they lost. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the next. We're going to do award predictions. I'm going to go ahead and see if you can all four. You guys can tell me all four. We're not going to do like one each. You can tell me all four. Okay. So there's the MVP, the Cy Young, the Rookie of the Year, and the Man Hitter of the Year. Your prediction for each of those categories. I hadn't even done most of that, but, uh, so. Do you want us to come back around to you? Yeah, come back around to me, because I've got a few, but I don't, I, I haven't thought that one through. I thought we were just going into playoffs. Are we doing, are we doing each, each? Okay. So, so uh, my MVP for the AL is Aaron Judge. For the NL is going to be Mookie Betts. I picked him the last five years. Eventually, he's going to come through. Um, my... Oh, it looks like everybody jumped off. You saw it? Oh, shoot. Jaden, Jaden's out too. I'm right here. And Chad. We adding in some posts or... I think I'm back in now. Yeah, I can hear you now. But I don't see you. Everybody, everybody good? Yeah, I can hear Jen. I can yeah, hear. I can hear. I can hear everybody. Uh, I can hear we okay. had segment out or something, and... Uh, uh, we're back online. And so we had some technical difficulties. There's a little, I don't know, mishap in there. But we're going to push the fruit, because that's what we knew. Okay. We have to make an adjustment. Okay, so, Stephen... You Do you want me to read you my little play? Just in case anything got okay. out. All right. So MVP AL, I've got Aaron Judge. MVP ML, I got Mookie Bet. Uh, Cy Young AL, I got Corbin Vern. Cy Young NL, I got Spencer Strider. Rookie of the Year AL, I got Wyatt Langford. For National League, I got Yamamoto. For Manager of the Year, I got Brandon Hyde in the AL and Craig Council in the NL. Um, I have Gunnar Henderson winning the MVP for, uh, from Baltimore in the American League. I have Bryce Harper winning in the National League. First year, he's finally going to be healthy, like not broken wrist on your thing like that in a while. So I think he can go off this year. Corbin Byrne, I have in the American League. I'm going to stop taking my National League one because it's going to get hurt every single year. Two years ago, I had Walker Buehler, Tommy John. Last year, I had Julio Urias, who got hurt and got suspended for domestic violence. This year, I had Justin Steele, who hurt himself on opening day against the Rangers. So, maybe I just pick the National League Cy Young, because no matter, I'll, or I'll pick someone I don't like, that way they get hurt. Um, rookie of the Year, who, you, did you have White Lynn for there? I didn't. I had White Lynn for as well. Um... Because I think the guys really look at offensive stats more than anything, and I think he's going to have a lot of offensive stats. Um, I have Paul Skeens from Pittsburgh um, um, get winning the rookie of the year in the National League. I have Joe Espada from uh, uh, Houston actually winning the manager's year. I always like the, always like the new guys every year. Um, and then I have Craig Council winning it in the National League. I was already unmuted. Um, so my MVP for the AL is uh, uh, Corey Seager. Um, and what? I have Mookie Betts. Uh, I also think he could win it because switching over to shortstop is no joke. The dude played second base last year and he played right through all his career. And you're gonna play shortstop, play a buck sixty two again, and then probably hit, you know. 40 tanks. All right, yeah, you get MVP. <laughs> um, I I guess this was a hot take for me, but I guess not anymore because I had Corbin Burns as my Cy Young in the AL. I think him being on such a more offensive prowess, he just sets him up for Cy Young. Um, he, he could win. He could win 22 games this year. I mean, he, he, could, he could win every start. Correct. Cool. Yeah, Agreed. Agreed. Uh, my National League is Zach Wheeler. Uh, I saw he added a splitter and a slider and a sweeper, and even though sweeper and slider are the same pitch, that's a podcast in its own. Um, you know, the two seam running in, the fastball up, um, 
uh, he's dominant in the playoffs every year, uh, and I think this year he's going to do it in the regular season as well. Um, my rookie year is Evan Carter, the other ranger. Um, and I have Paul Skeens, because uh, I saw he went five no-hit innings in AAA. Um, my manager of the year in the AL is going to be A.J. Hinch from the Tigers. That's who I am. Um, I almost picked him, too. And then my National League is David Bell from the Reds. And by the way, it's that nobody cares about wins anymore, okay? Give me ERA, ERA plus, and RA9 more every single day of the week. Where's Martel Colon? Let me tell you this. His ex Wolba is going to be off the charts, and that's why he's going to win 22 games. Tell me, is that going to be high or low? Whatever it is to be good at. What does ex Wolba mean? We don't have that kind of time. Is that the one you talked about the other day? I get it the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Chad, you okay. here. <laughs> so my ML, or my MVP from the American League is going to be Juan Soto. I think he's batting in a lineup that helps him out a little bit more this year. He can hit 60 this year. Yes. Uh, my NL MVP, I'm also going out on a little, not on a limb, but I don't think anybody really has this guy big on their radar. Uh, I think it's Bryce Harper. I think he has a... Oh, did you have that one? Okay, sorry, I was outside when yeah, you said that. Okay. Uh, my Cy Young, Corbin Burns. Uh, really like him. Uh, I like Strider in the National League. Uh, my Rookie of the Year for the AL, I think Jackson Holiday is going to pull it out. I think he's going to get called up, and I think he's going to put up some fantastic numbers. Uh, for the ML, Yamamoto. Uh, manager of the year, I've got Hinch from the Tigers, and I actually have Council from the Cubs. Yeah, those are good picks. I had to meet myself. Okay, so now we're going to do the playoff prediction. That includes the wild card for both divisions and the ALDS, the ALCS, NLCS. NLDS wild card, and then, of course, who's making the World Series? So we're just doing it. We're just doing it. We're just laying it all out. Are right, you want us to pause with the World Series, and then we or just do it? Let, let's just do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay, so here's who I have in the playoffs. I have not seeded these. This is just who I think makes the playoffs. I think the Twins make it. The Yankees make it, the Astros make it, the Orioles make it, the Yankees make it, and I think Seattle makes it. I think we get three teams in the playoffs. Did I say Yankees twice? I meant Baltimore. Baltimore was my other one. Baltimore was my other one. They're pretty good. Yeah, Baltimore's my other one. Sorry. <laughs> so I, I think your division series, I'm going to get crap for this one. Uh, I, I think you're going to have the Yankees, the Rangers, the Astros, and the Mariners. I think it's going to come down to the Yankees and the Rangers to play in the World Series. And I hate to say it, but I think the Yankees pull that one out. I, th I think the Yankees pull that one out and go to the World Series. In the National League, I have the Dodgers, the Reds, the Braves, the Phillies, the Cubs, and the Diamondbacks. Uh, I think it comes down to the Phillies and the Dodgers and the Braves and the Reds in your final four. I have the Phillies going to the World Series, and I have the Phillies beating the Yankees in the World Series this year. He just wants that, that yeah. money to be spent in there on MLB, two big market teams. I was going to say, the MLB hopes that happened. Yeah. Hey, well, that's only last year with us and them in Arizona. So they got to make it up this year. Yeah. Okay. They got to make it up just in the square. Yeah. And my prediction of the Yankees going, that is why. I think MLB wants the Yankees in the World Series this year. Yep. All right. So, um, 
my playoffs. Um, so I did the seeds. So uh, I got the Twins winning their division, but playing the Yankees in the six. Um, and then I got the Rays and Rangers playing. Um, I got the Rangers winning, playing Baltimore as the number one seed. And I got the Yankees and Astros playing. Um, and then I have uh, Baltimore and um, Houston playing in the ALCS. And I have Baltimore winning. Uh, for the National League, I've got the Cardinals winning their division, playing the Cubs 6 seed. The Phillies and Diamondbacks playing. And then I have the Braves and Cardinals playing with the Dodgers and Phillies playing. And then I have the Dodgers and Braves playing. The Dodgers in the World Series playing the Orioles with the world champions being the billion and a half dollar spenders. The Los Angeles Dodgers. This guy. This guy. I think if you have the Cardinals and the Cubs playing each other in the playoffs, that is going to be all over every TV across the United States. That is much watch. Must watch TV right there. And Grace Fisher than the playoffs. Yeah, that's what's late in the playoffs. Holy cow. All right. Let me scroll down. Um, so I had I had Baltimore and us winning the division, so they get the first round by. Houston will take on Tampa and they will beat Tampa. So they move on in the second round. Uh, Minnesota will face off on the Yankees, and if this year repeats itself, New York will beat Minnesota because the Minnesota Twins can, just cannot beat the New York Yankees in the playoffs. Uh, so that leaves Baltimore and Houston. Um, Baltimore will overtake Houston because I just think they're a deeper team. They just are. Um, and almost every facet. Um, and when it has us and the Yankees. I'm taking us over the Yankees. Uh, that leaves a ALCS of us and Baltimore. But it's us, for people who don't know, is the Texas Rangers, by the way. The, the World Series. The, the, yeah, the, the reigning world champions, by the way. Um, so uh, taking Texas over Baltimore to go back to the World Series because everybody picks Baltimore. Be careful of the trendy pick. Trendy picks never happen. Maybe a trendy pick that has made it to the World Series the past few years. The Texas Rangers. And they were not a trendy pick by any means of the imagination. They were in our house. I don't even think they were in our house. Yeah, I don't think they were. I had them. Yeah, I like to point out I had them winning the World Series. Like, pops it didn't. Jaden, you have the Rangers winning the World Series every year. Not true. Not when we lost the Rangers two years ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him Tony and Ben's he does this year though. That's crazy. And, and if you if you want to prove that Jaden did call it last year, he did. And we had the podcast. Well, you had the podcast. Go to the <laughs> Nick and Jeff podcast and you will get the look you did. That's right. Um. Uh, See, so yeah, I have us going back to the World Series now for the National League. I have Arizona, uh, Atlanta, and the Dodgers. Um. Winning their divisions and being the better seed, so they get the first round by. That leaves the Cubs facing on San Diego. San Diego is going to beat the Chicago Cubs. Um, the I think well, if you think about, it, they're almost the same page in the division. So like if San Diego's in the Central, I think they would probably have a really good shot of winning that division. Um, but instead, they and I have them finishing third in the in the West. I just think that's how good the West is. But I have San Diego moving on to the NLDS. I have the Phillies and Diamondbacks um, facing off again, and I have Arizona winning again because I think we're going to start seeing a little bit of a decline in um, uh, in Philadelphia. They were in the World Series. They made it to the CS, and now I'm not even going to make it out of the first round. So uh, then the next year, who knows? Who knows? Maybe after that. But this year, it ain't happening. Atlanta and San Diego will face off. Atlanta is going to beat San Diego. That's as far as they're going to get. They're not going to get past Atlanta. Um, I have the Dodgers in Arizona, and Arizona's just going to do it again. They're going to move on and go. They're going to beat the Dodgers. The Dodgers are going to win 118 games and lose in the first round, just like they do every year. They're like the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and so you'll have the NLCS, um, Atlanta and Arizona. I do have Atlanta 
winning against Arizona, so we'll not we will not have a rematch of this past year. And in the World Series, I had the Texas Rangers winning in Texas this year in Game Six. You heard it here first, beating Atlanta. Wait, no, no, we're in Atlanta again because we, we're not lucky enough to get it at home. So we'll win in Atlanta. So first, first repeat champions in twenty three years. Exactly. I'm going the repeat because it's been a while. I mean, dude, and nobody's picking this to really mean make it to the playoffs. Anyway, if like you look at the playoff, it was deepest line as anybody. I said the pitching can get deep if everybody's healthy. And you got a game one starter in Jacob DeGrom, got a game two starter in Nathan Navaldi, and then I have a 18,000 guy to pick for game three that can pretty much match up with anybody's game three. So that was my, and then all those other guys that don't make it, they're going to the paint and they're going to shove there too. They can max effort uh, out in the pens and we're just going to, we're just going to ball. I hope you're wrong. I hope you are right, Josh. Um, so I'll start off in the AO. Uh, my wild card series, the four seed is the Astros. My fifth seed is the Mariners. So a little AO West match up there. Um, and then I got the uh, third seed in. And I got the sixth seed Yankees. So I think we all had that. Didn't we? Oh, or no, the Twins and Yankees. Do we have that? Everyone had that. Um, and then I have the Yankees being the Twins, and then I have the Mariners beating uh the Astros. Uh, because we don't like the Astros. Uh, and then I have the Orioles and the Yankees playing because I think that's how it works, right? Did you have Baltimore having the best? Who's the number one seed for you? I, uh, Baltimore. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So, Orioles and Yankees will play. And then the Rangers and the Mariners will play. So, they have to face another AL West opponent. Uh, and then I have the Orioles being the Yankees. And then I have the Rangers being the Mariners. And I have an ALCS matchup of the Orioles and the Rangers. I do not have us in the World Series. Sadly. Both this man. Um, I think the magic will run out, sadly. But the Orioles will make it to the World Series. And then my National League, I have the Phillies on the fourth seed. I have the Diamondbacks at the fifth seed. I have the Cardinals at the third seed. Or no, the Cubs, sorry. The Cubs in the third seed. And then I have the Padres in the sixth seed. And then I have the... No... I'm messing up. So the Cubs will face the Dodgers. And then the uh, Phillies will face the Braves. And then the Division Series again. I think for the. No. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. So. And then I have the. And then I'll have. So that means. Because I messed it up. So the Phillies will beat the Braves. And then the Dodgers will beat the Cubs. You know, I offered to call you during my lunch to help you. Yeah, 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 so, uh, and so that means I'll have the Phillies and the Dodgers playing in the championship series, and then I'll ultimately have the Phillies winning, and then I'll have the Orioles on top of the World Series. <laughs> well, my only prediction is that I'm going with Josh, and I'm going to have the Rangers, Winning, winning it all this year, just because that's what I want. Okay, so I have one last question before we wrap this up, and this is not this year. This is in the future. This is Josh helped me come up with this question: Is who makes a playoff first, the Rockies or the A's? Ah. <laughs> I think it. If the A's move, I pick the A's. If the A's stay where they are, I pick the Rockies. Watch what you say here, Dad. Yeah, watch what you say. Which which team makes the playoffs first? Dude, dude, it, 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 dude, it's gotta be the Green and A's, man. Yes, sir. The wrong answer. I'm not know it. My Oakland A's, because they're saying Oakland, they're getting the The problem is, Stephen, we'll be dead. So we'll never know who's for Well, that's true. They're going to have to get <laughs> We'll be dead. Yeah. 
They're going to have to re-listen to this whole podcast <laughs> in 50 years and find out. Oh, I'm saying it. Well, I'll be in this corner where you're going to be in this corner. I'll be in this corner. Quick trivia question for you. What's the only franchise not to play in the World Series? Not the Rockies. What's the only, what's the only, who is it then? The only franchise not to play in the World Series. We talked about this, hold on. Set up, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me get myself together. I feel like we're just talking about this. Stop. I'm thinking. No. No. Stop. You want you want a hint? You picked them to make the playoffs this year. I picked them because I like them. I can always play. You don't have to see the wheel turning in the side. I'm going to make the pass. It's not the Cubs. It's not the Phillies. It's not the Braves. No! Did I just say it? No! You're in the, you're in the other division. Is it the Twins? No. No. They won a real series. Okay. Yeah, they won a World Series. Shut up. Are they the Mariners? We have a winner. The Seattle Mariners is the only franchise not to play for the road team. Well, not even after their 121 win season. And they should have. Should have. Back when they had A-Rod and Buhner mm-hmm. and Griffey. I mean, you go down the list. They had Randy Johnson on the mat. They should have. They had the best team in baseball at that time, but still didn't make it. Shit, they won 118 games that year. Yep. They didn't even make the World Series. make the World Series. So, anyway, sorry. All right, so. 27 Rockies. We know Josh, uh, Jay didn't pick the Rockies. Did you actually say that you're picking the A's? I, I'm definitely picking the A's because then we'll be actually going to force them to uh, get a new owner and get someone that is an Oakland native and loves the A's, just like the Mets, except they have more success than the Mets because they're Oakland. Or the Baltimore group that just popped in. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They're going to actually get a fan of Oakland to, um, hey, Matt Lasker, you know. Oh, I like dinner. Um, uh, yes, the A's with a brand new stadium as well. And it's not going to happen. Neither of them are going to make it in 2027, 2028. Hey, look, Jaden, your Rockies were losing again. Hey, I'm going to go with Jaden. And I'm going to go with the Rockies. We're going to go with the Nana approach and, and pick a team or it should be. Slow. Yeah. That's the Nana approach. That's my, that's my shout out to Nana uh, right now in the middle of Easter. Long live Nana. <laughs> For those of you who don't know the story, my mom bet against all of these high school kids and college kids on football um, on who would, what was it, who would... It was when the bowl game... The bowl game, that's right, yeah. it was the bowl game. And there was like 12 bowl games, and she picked every team where it would snow over teams that did And she won. And she won. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yo, guys. Yeah. so I'm going with Nana's approach and picking the Rockies. I think she went ten and two, actually. <laughs> I should call a so I and give him that advice. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all the questions you have. You guys have any follow up statements, comments before we sign off here? Go Rangers, next up. <laughs> Go Rangers, ditto.